think it was about 2003 when the band started to grow out of their UK-based theatre touring into Europe and into particularly into North America. So I was brought in to help them transition from theatres into arenas, generally lower bowl arenas and bigger theatres, and more extensive touring, really. They used to tour in smaller bites, but then we got into sort of six or eight weeks at a time. And did that for a couple of years, and then came and went and various, for various reasons as I kind of juggled my other clients as well and helped sort of steer them through a few things. Four years ago, I got back involved quite heavily uh, as a tour manager. And then as, as, say, a couple of years ago, they were coming to the end of a contract with their then management and, uh, and asked me to take on that role as well. So I kind of jumped at that as my first foray into any management. I'm enjoying it very much. They were so meticulous about getting it to sound right. And there became a point where that was the main thing. They didn't particularly try to look like Pink Floyd, and the show had representations of the bits of it. Because of the scale at it was at, it couldn't really look as big. It never never really could. And then when, when I get involved and they were going to arenas, we really could do something that was not on a Pink Floyd scale, but a scaled version of that. Um, and then we started to really try to make sure that... Um, you know, the visuals were properly represented and were impressive. It's become something of its own almost. almost, almost. Chris Gadd's the, the production manager. A chap called Tom Mumby is our lighting operator. And again, he, uh, he's been with the show a very long time, knows the thing inside out. And he's currently working with Rob Sinclair and Louisa Smurthwaite, who've come in to help design a new show. So it's kind of a co-design, really, with Rob, Louisa and Tom to try and get past that thing of we've always done things a certain way and come in with a really fresh eye. I was involved in those first couple of tours when they uh, they became involved, and um, yeah, again, it's one of those things they're they're very ingrained in our our, uh, our touring now. You know, we've never really looked anywhere else, and you no know, particular plans to do so because the service has always been there. They're, you know, they're really good at working with us on if we're struggling financially, they'll look at it as a, a thing across the whole year or across the whole project. You know. A lot of people now that are uh, full-time uh, in tech, people like Adam Stevenson, he's been out on the road with us you know, in the early days when he evolved into having more of an office-based thing. So it, just everyone's very intertwined with the show, really. So we, we do feel very well looked after. You know, they, they completely get it because it's been so long, which is nice, really. And uh, you know they've been helpful on this one because you know, we wanted to use particular fixtures on this, like the Mythos lights. And of course, you know, we've got someone who's prepared to, to invest in particular fixtures and and also they'll keep the rig together, you know, in, in some of the breaks and things like that. So it, it just reduces the prep time. And, you know, it's, it's a very cohesive relationship from that point of view. You know, they, un they understand what we need and they're just willing to help us really as best they can. What we're getting out of this rig we're finding in this last few days and what we hope for is a really big looking show from much smaller fixtures, you know, new technology that's, you know, smaller physically which obviously helps us on truck space. And obviously, you know, our relationship with Entech uh, and their ability to, to reinvest, you know, really helps us to, to move with the times a bit there. together quite a lot and he got the phone call to say would we like to come and help Tom Mumby just transfer from an older show into a newer show and give him a hand really. Um, we worked with Kev on Kylie before. There, there are definite things that we've done with this rig that have made it modern and therefore you have to go down a different road in certain certain aspects whether it be colour or the way you move things one thing we thought about with this show is how do we make it look cleaner and bring it into its own, into a, a, a sort of a modern way. So you're formed very much by the rig and how you've ended up placing your fixtures and geometrically what works. Uh, 
And the auras are the backbone of the show, really. We have them around the circle troughs, and we have them as a big wall up top that they give us a lot of our colour and a lot of our punch and they make us look large. They give us definition, the, the circle definition around the video screen. They give us the hello we're Pink Floyd look. In general they make all of our statements. And the sunscripts. They give us really nice definition. They're along the edge of the stage and they're in our lighting ladders and they actually give us quite a nice framework to work around the circle. They fill it out, there's no gap. It will translate in theatres when we get bigger into arenas. They'll help us push out and make that move. Um, in terms of look, they give us that modern, yet yeah, tungsten vibe. In terms of two different type of light sources, we've got our two main players, which are the Mythos and the XB. The XB do the, the colour mixing and, and give us the real nice pushes of even light. And then we use the Mythos. It's a great go-to fixture for giving you a profile, a beam, and they do both fine. They're in our Sunstrip gang up there in the back and they give us a big wall of light. Also, there are wings, basically. There's our circle in the middle and there are our outer walls. QWO we use on our front truss. We've got lots of fun things to light in the show, inflatables, people, moments. It's really great to be able to have those and be able to pick out all those bits, whether it be, oh my God, there's a massive pig, or we really need to see some emotion here, yeah. or a massive kangaroo, or my favorite, the teacher. The Roby 600s, they've actually had a relocation program. We took them off the front truss and we put them at the back with Mythos on the floor. Both upstairs and downstairs, we can have our big Mythos look um, with our hard edges and our gobos from the floor and the ceiling, and then again with some LED, auras up and also down, just so that we can get floor to ceiling, even source types of light. The crew have been great. Entech have been super lovely, you know, working with them on Florence and this. I've come straight from Florence onto this. I've needed to get bits and bobs here, you know, and Noreen's been amazing. So yeah, it's been a really easy transition from a year of running around with something else and then having Christmas and walking into this. Early January has been really, really quite smooth. I think the only other thing to is really give Tom his due. You know, he's um, going from one desk to the other and having me yabbering at him. He's done um, so far an amazing job and I'm sure it will continue.